Well, Kevin and I have tried a lot of things that are Frank's Red Hot themed. However, we've never actually reviewed the Frank's Red Hot sauce on the channel. So we're gonna be reviewing the Red Hot Sauce original, and then we have Sweet Chili. And this is the dill pickle. So the dill pickle was sent to us from Michael in Kansas. That's what started this review. So thank you very much to Michael. But we wanted to compare it with the original since we hadn't reviewed it. And we also found this, uh, what is this, sweet chili? Sweet chili. Sweet chili. That's thick. So the sweet chili in the original were $3.26 at Walmart. And these are 12 ounce bottles. Now this one is a lot smaller, the one Michael said. Five ounces five ounces so if these were 326 i would think they would be a lot cheaper but then again if it's a hard to find flavor yeah um, they didn't have it at store. no they did not we looked when we bought the uh these and no you um you uh did not see any uh, they, now they did have some like some wing sauces mm -hmm. um to uh for your buffalo chicken wings but that's what we have we have a uh, not wings, but we have chicken. And so we're going to try this with chicken. Um, this Frank's since 1920. Uh, Frank's Red Hot Original. You dropped a little piece of chicken. The perfect blend of flavor and heat. There are 71 servings in this <laughs> bottle. One teaspoon is zero calories. So... It's a... Um, the regular hot sauce... Is, um, is a runnier sauce, like a Tabasco or any of those kind of sauces. It's not really thick. Got some heat to it, definitely, though. Mm -hmm. But the flavors are so good. Mm -hmm. You get that nice pepper flavor. Peppers. Yes. Chili but, peppers. But don't you think it's heavy on the vinegar? Vinegary. Yeah, yes. it's very vinegary. Yes. Which it, is what I would expect with a, um, like a hot sauce. The uh, ingredients are very simple. Aged cayenne red peppers. Distilled, that's the first one. Yes, distilled vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. Yep. That's all that's in it. And you taste a lot of that. Yes, you do. <laughs> you absolutely. You taste the pepper in that order. You taste the peppers, the and then you taste the vinegar. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin uses uh, Frank's on our buffalo chicken dip. We have mm -hmm. the recipe on the channel. I put it in chili. It's the best buffalo chicken dip ever. Chili. Uh, some of you all have made it. You've told me you enjoy it. Vegetable soup. I put it in everything. Kevin does use anything, it on anything. Soup, anything liquid, like soups and stuff like that, I'll, I usually will put that on. Yes, there. he does use it on anything. Okay, is that cracked? It's cracked. It was sealed, oh. but it's just gotten pressed huh. or something. Yeah, the, uh, the, the lid is cracked. It's like they over screwed it on. Huh, and this is it's different. Sealed, I know. It's thick. Oh, okay. It's a thicker sauce. It's more oh. almost like a sweet and sour sauce. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Sweet chili sauce for dipping and more. This it this has calories. Yeah, it's thick. so. Uh, this is twelve servings are in the container, not seventy something like the first one. Two tablespoons are seventy calories. Let me just go ahead and give you the ingredients in this one. Water is number one ingredient. Mm -hmm. Water, sugar, red chili pepper, salt, garlic, modified food starch, and Astic acid, some kind of acid. You may want more in there. It, uh, that's okay. Uh, Frank's hot, red hot, sweet chili sauce is a pulpy and zesty sauce mm -hmm. made with red chilies. This fusion sauce is a slightly sweet, full-bodied alternative to traditional hot sauces. Suggested uses: dipping vegetable, shrimp, and more. Marinating chicken, pork, or beef. Pouring on seafood and other foods. It is mild on the heat indicator. It's mild, and it says refrigerate after opening. Shake well before using. Okay. Um, that is literally like a sweet and sour sauce. It's it's a little. It's not quite as sweet, but it is sweet. Mm -hmm. But it's got that same thickness as like a sweet and sour sauce. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm not talking about McDonald's sweet and sour sauce. I'm talking about like. An Asian sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> it's good as no heat at all. No, no heat at all. Um, I do think that you should try it a little bit before you drown it on your food because it, um, to me, it's it is so sweet that it like um, 
like the the original kind of accentuated the chicken this flavor kind of overrides the chicken and it's not bad at all i mean you might want to taste mainly that flavor anyway it's a I like it. it's yeah i do too it is very sweet though i could picture putting that on bacon chicken especially uh baked chicken would be that would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. It like would. marinated in baked Absolutely. chicken. Absolutely, yes. And then take it out and just cut it and eat it. I mean, yeah. That would be really good. Now, this one is in a bottle like the first like the one. Pop -pop. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's it's a, a hot sauce. It's a liquid hot sauce. Yes. Whereas this is more of a dipping sauce. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, okay. So that's why the difference in lids. Yeah. So we, these two are hot sauces. That one's dipping. Okay. So dill pickle. This is the one Michael sent. Uh, Frank's Red Hot Dill Pickle Naturally Flavored Hot Sauce brings just the right amount of tang and red hot heat. Perfect for chicken, pizza, or french fries. Hmm. I noticed the heat meter. This one says original. Uh -huh. What does that one say? This one, Dill Pickle, is under original. Okay. What is it? What's the word? The next one. Okay. So, okay. So, mild is sweet chili. So, that one. Okay. Next, you have this, Dill Pickle. Then, the next heat level is the original. The next heat level, level is Nashville Hot, uh, Hot Buffalo, and Extra Hot. We saw the Extra Hot. So that's how, yeah. Which we were going to do you, that. We, you don't <laughs> see that here. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this has aged cayenne red peppers, distilled vinegar, pickle juice, hmm. um, water, salt, and there's some dill weed. That's what I was thinking. It's probably just Yeah, dill. okay. So. You can always just unscrew it. Well, I might unscrew it because it will take me 10 years. Unscrew it and you can actually dump it into like measuring cups and stuff. Yes. <laughs> it will come out quick though because it's, okay. it's uh, liquidy. You can, you can see the dill. Oh, yes, you can. It's like dill weed. Um, the little oh, yeah. I, like, little I pieces. like dill weed. We make uh, oyster crackers with dill. Wow. <laughs> Very strong dill. Yes, it is. Unmistakable. It does have a, a very pickly pickle. kind of flavor. Yeah, it tastes like pickle. It tastes it tastes like hot pickle. Yeah. It is hot. I like it. It is not as hot as this does, though. No, 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 no. No, it's exactly what they said on the bottle. What's Good. funny is the original sauce already has the vinegar flavor. Mm -hmm. And all they had to do is add the dill to make it taste like pickle. And pickle juice. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it's it's already got the vinegar, and you add the mm -hmm. dill, got a little garlic in there. Mm -hmm. Not nearly as hot though. So definitely hotter than the the yeah. sweet chili, but it or the chili, yeah, sweet chili. Uh, definitely hotter than that, but it's it's not near as hot as those. I think all three of these things work with chicken. Yeah, they're really good. Uh, they're very very good with chicken. Um, so what else? This since it does taste like a pickle. And deal mix with it, mix it in with your hamburger before you cook it. Really? It'd be good. I don't think or I even would do splash that. Splash a little bit on your hamburger after you cook it. That's why I'm wondering what I would do with that. I don't eat hamburger. I I don't eat pickles on my hamburger. I, I don't like pickles on hamburger. Right, Kevin does. So I guess um, if you like pickles on your hamburger and you wanted to add a hotter flavor to it, absolutely you do could that. Add it to, you could still add that to like a marinade for a chicken or something and bake it. It just you probably wouldn't want it. the pickle flavor. You wouldn't. I would. I personally wouldn't want any like vegetable soup. That's or, what I'm wondering. What would you use like that in? But but if you, it's not with like chicken, what else are you gonna put it with? I don't know. A lot of people just like dill. So right. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's we've good. we've had some potato chips that taste like this. I'm just be, wondering. I wonder if you could do roasted potatoes and toss them in that. Oh, and maybe. Then bake them. That yeah. might be good. Yeah. When you when you bake them and yeah. Yeah, you know, like chop up those little red potatoes mm -hmm. and and you dip them in. Normally you toss them in oil with, in with oil. spices. You could, you could just toss them, toss them in that instead. and bake them. Yeah. That would probably well, work. That'd be yeah. Good. A little spice. So. My favorite's still the original. I think my favorite's the original too. Although I do really like this for certain things. I agree, and you could use this for start. These are I very would be less specific. likely to use the pickle just because it's, it's so strong. It's very, very specific. Whereas I could see putting this on baked chicken or baked fish right. or anything like that. But the original, you can put it with so many yeah. oh, yeah. Uh, things, and this is what's popular around here: the hot sauce. I mean, there's lots of hot sauces, right? And but certain areas, you get like 
Tabasco, stuff like that. I think Frank's Red Hot is very popular to our area. Yeah. I really You know do. what's funny? Even after eating that pickle, and I said I wouldn't want it on all kinds of stuff, I want to eat more of it. Because it's good. If you like dill weed, if you like those, if you've ever had like pickle chips from the Trader Joe's mm -hmm. or other pickle chips, you will like this. Just know that it comes with a little bit of heat, but yeah. not as much as the original. Yeah, it's not so, nearly as strong. Yeah, it's nice. So, Michael, thank you very, mm -hmm. very much for sending it to us. Very unique item to send to us. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.